Hello, family, friends, and fellow gamers. This is Grumpy Gnome from Grumpy Gnome Gaming, and welcome back to episode one of our Baldur's Gate walkthrough. Uh, one thing I wanted to uh, make a correction of yes. uh, back in the uh, candle keeping, we cleared all the side quests Not and upstairs. I showed you the room of the nobles. It will be done. And I made a comment that only subclasses of thief can break into this, and that is not correct. Actually, it is um, a race of character other than human that happens to be a thief and has the ability to get the uh, pickpocket, I'm sorry, open locks of a... 65 or better so it's based on the race of the character um, and that thief needs to have the um, 65 or greater on open locks okay that clarifies that now let's get on with it we're going to start be our side quests on the outside not a problem and we're going to go in a con counterclockwise rotation because we actually want to complete the quests as we get to them and the first uh, thing I want to show you if you're not familiar with uh, the extended edition of Baldur's Gate is they put this nice little feature into the tab that will reveal all the uh, areas that you can interact with so by pushing tab you see that we have three areas that we can inspect, two barrels and a chest, and then two doorways, one there and one there that we can go through. Okay, so this will be our first doorway. This is actually the uh, barracks, and we're going to find Fuller in here. And Fuller is the one who's always losing his crossbow bolts. It will be done. I should have joined the army. Uh, Gwetta Mill Meadfield Knight. That hole's just too much. Anyway, hole's on watch, and uh, he forgot his uh, sword in his locker. And uh, basically, this conversation right here is just to um, basically ask Fuller if he has any errands that we can do for him. And this is where he tells us, uh, yeah, I need that quarrel of crossbow bolts. And uh, this is another one of those charisma-based encounters where the 18 charisma is going to uh, pay off greatly because when we give him his crossbow uh, bolts, the army. he's actually going to give us a dagger that he claimed his father killed a hobgoblin with. And that dagger actually happens to be a magic dagger as you can see right here it has the blue hue around it and that indicates it is a unidentified magic item so okay thanks fuller and we're gonna go ahead and get whole sword and this antidote is actually going to be for a cow named Nessa. Okay, there's eight gold problem. in here. We'll take those. There's nothing in this one. There's 15 over here. Thank you. And this is the bunkhouse. And we already know that the bunkhouse is supposed to be empty at this time of day. However, we are going to find an individual that does not look like he belongs here. And uh, let's go ahead and... I have a blade with your name on it. Okay. That's how he greets us. Uh, he's dressed very shabbily. He says he has a blade with our name on it. We know he's not supposed to be here. So why would we even bother um, getting into a conversation with this guy? One of the advantages of having ranged weapons is 
that you can simply click a weapon and before the person even gets in your face for melee, we can try to take them out at a distance. Just like that. So, why would you risk melee combat when you can simply down an enemy from a distance? So, with ease, we'll go ahead and take his dagger. There is another barrel up here, but there's nothing in it. So, we'll just move along. Oh, and to show you the proficiencies once again, let's go to this page. And you see I have my throwing axes selected, and that gives me a 17 to hit armor class 0. If I were to have used my quarterstaff, I would have needed a 20. So there is a really good um, example of how the proficiency uh, helps out in um, both for both ranged and for melee. So right now the uh, battle or the not the battle axe, but the throwing axe should actually be my preferred weapon. But we will be getting a With ease. warhammer here shortly. Once again, I am proficient. Our rules are very strict. Yeah, I didn't want to walk over his conversation. So, uh, once again, I am proficient with a Warhammer, and I will be picking one up here on the grounds before we leave. So, the Gate Warden. The Gate Warden is here to show us um, the arts of mass combat. We don't need the training, but if you were to accept it, he would have taken you down into the um, cellars where an illusionist would create an artificial party for you and create an artificial gang of enemies that you can fight against. So we're going to go ahead and dismiss him, and then he's going to ask again, and we're going to dismiss him a second time, and we're out of here. So thank you, Gate Warden. Okay, the infirmary. This is the hospital. We're going to tell the uh, priest we're not feeling well, and he will, you know, question, well, you don't look too bad, but here's a potion for you anyway. So this is our priest. So it let's go have a, have a word with him. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, you're sick. You look rather healthy, but you never can tell. So... Do you want a potion? Yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks. And that gives us a potion. Okay, there is another potion in this chest here, but as you see, he also has a reader. And both the uh, priest and the reader, if either catches you trying to get into this chest, you are going to be in a lot of trouble because they will summon the guards. So we're not even going to bother. We're just going to take our one potion and be out of here. Okay. Not a problem. Let's, let's talk to Hull. Okay, believe it or not, Hull also has a charisma-based response. And normally, if you have less than 18 charisma, he gives you a little bit of an attitude like, hey, you took your time and he only gives you a 10-piece reward. However, because we are 18, he is actually going to thank us in a nicer way and give us 20 gold instead of the 10. Mm. Hey, kid, woke up this morning, left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. Yeah, I got it. And there you mm. go. Thanks, kiddo. Grind didn't bring you up half bad, did he? You're, you are not going to get that nice response with less than an 18 uh, charisma. And now you'll also see that there's our 20 gold pieces instead of the 10 that he would have given us. So onward. Let's go talk to Reaver, the dwarf. Reaver, the dwarf. Rebar. 
By Moradin's hammer. By Moradin's hammer. Okay, so Reaver has a rat infestation in his stock room. So we need to go in there and clear out some rats. Now, notice I kept my quarterstaff because it is a wooden staff and this will not break or shatter because of the iron crisis that's going on. I am not proficient. These rats will not do any damage to me. So I really don't care how long it takes me to um, get rid of them, but I'm not gonna use throwing axes and I'm not gonna use my fist. So the quarter staff does come in handy. So in we go. There they are. Okay, get them. Oh yeah, they're a single hit point each. They will not do any damage to me. And eventually we're gonna rid them. Notice there's cats running around in here. And that's cat. And you wonder why they aren't clearing it out. You know, almost makes you want to go over and start whacking on them, but we're not going to do that. Not okay, one more back here. There he is. All right, we got him. Okay, three things to look into. Only this one up here has a silver ring. And we're out of here. Some of you may be familiar with the term dwarves have deep pockets and short arms. That is about to be revealed. Why Moradin's hammer? Ay, yes, look at this. I get a whole five gold. What am I going to do? Don't spend it in one place. Thanks, Reaver. Okay. Uh, Janabar. Is that a John, John Dalar? He is going to show you single-handed combat, which we don't need. So we're going to pass right by. Okay. Up here. This is the temple. Uh, you talk to the priest. And there's a couple things that you can do here. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, I'm pleased to see that you've taken the time to pay tribute. Yeah, um, I'd like to, but no. Anyway, here we go. I was wondering what you had to offer. Um, good day to you. So what do you have? When you come across a temple, you can give a donation. And for every 100 gold that you donate, your reputation will go up um, one point. So right now we have an average reputation of 12. And if we donated 100 gold, that would go up to a 13. But we don't need to do that. There are, I think it's been pointed out once by another uh, gamer that you can actually in the game, you can earn up to 38 points of reputation boosts. Now, you only max out at a 20. So even if you get maximum reputation and then you lose some, there's enough out there that you can replace what you lost. Other items that you Wisdom can get... is only possessed by the learned. Okay, wow. Okay, um... You can get healing if you are out on an adventure and you drop into a temple. They can heal ailments that you may have. And, of course, that costs quite a bit. Other things that you can do is you can purchase potions and scrolls to help you along. And finally, if you do not have that, a mage that can identify, this is going back to uh, Firebead with the Identify Scroll, you can pay to have an item identified, and that will actually cost a um, hundred gold. So, if we were to see the cost one hundred, and we're not going to do that. So, nope. Okay, that's the temple. Onward. 
Dreppen. Dreppen's got two uh, tasks for us. What do you uh, need? The first one is Felidia. She left her book in the hay. So we hit the tab button, and we can see that the book is right there. So we can go get Felidia's book. Got it. And now we talk to Dreppen again because this is Nessa the cow. Hi, Nessa. So. What do you need? Ah, nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it, though. She's been sick. She needs her Pepto-Bismol. And uh, just so happens that we have the bottle. So let's go ahead and give what that to him. Hey, wonder you are. Stick with me and we'll go far. Um, yeah, maybe not. So anyway, that took care of Dreppen's cow. We gained 50 experience and we lost the potion. So that's enough for that. Priest quarters. The priest quarters are supposed to be empty. And it just so happens that there's going to be Hello. another person in here. And with a name like Shank, what do you think he's going to do to us? <laughs> kind of makes you feel like you're in prison. But anyway, yeah, Shank is up to no good. And just, uh, I'm debating if I want to take him out from a distance or engage him. Let's, let's see if we could just take him out. Because he uh, is another assassin that's been hired to take us out. And, uh, yeah. Oops. You know, I, I don't know what happened there, but something happened. But, okay. Oh, goody, goody. I've gone and found you first. You're the Ward of Gorion, no doubt. That I am. What can I do for you? I do not recognize you. What are you doing here? Or leave me be. I have pressing matters to attend to. Oh, what are we going to do? Um, I don't recognize you. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, who am I is unimportant, but who you are is very much... Apologize for the dirty business, but I have to kill you. Okay, thanks. So, I don't know why I'm trying to throw something at him at point blank range, but let's, uh, we'll go back to this weapon, and it may take a while, but eventually we'll down him. Oh, there it is. One shot. And he's down. Now, there's a lot of things in this room uh, to inspect. We got a chest, we got a barrel, a desk, a couple crates over here, and the crate has a Warhammer. That's where I'm going to get my uh, proficiency weapon. Coming over here, there's going to be, I think, eight gold. And this is empty. This one has a dagger. Okay, on this note, if you have a party that has a thief, always use the thief's open lock abilities mm -hmm. to uh, open the traps, or not the traps, but open the lock drawers, because the party will gain 10 experience points every time the priest, I'm sorry, the thief opens the chest. So, let's uh, talk to Parda. Carlo, you cut yourself above the brow. What's wrong, child? And I can use the uh, the wimpy response. Oh, Parda, there's a man in there. He smelled like the stables and, and he tried to kill me. No, I don't think so. Um, it's nothing, Parda. One of the cats didn't like me petting it. I'm all right, really. Yeah, that's manly mm. so there we go and that okay with ease moving along moving along moving along now so Felidia is right there and hello there hello there have you seen my copy of history of Halua anywhere uh, yes I just happen to have it so Hello there. Hello there, my book. Oh, good. Okay, so 
This is another charisma based reward. However, you don't need 18 to get it. This one right here will, if you have 15 or above, she'll give you the Lynx Eye Gem. So, a, um, an 18 is not required, but you have to have better than a 15 to get that. So, we're almost done. Uh, last item of business, find Tetheral in the uh, center grounds. Uh, for those of you familiar with Forgotten Realms, these chanters here are preaching about some type of uh, cataclysmic event. And Tetheral. Greetings, young one. Greetings, young one. Fire beat sent you as in tea. Well, return the scroll. Okay. So, we got fire beads identify scroll and as I said this is one of the things that I am actually going to return because as much as I would like to keep it it's uh, I can always get one at high hedge for the uh, mage but uh. anyway yeah he's going to give us a potion of healing I think we get 50 experience points and then he's also going to cast a, uh, a spell on us just as we're leaving. It but before be we go, we want to have one last talk with uh, Winthrop. And we're going to sell My him. hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Yeah, that's never going to get old. So just visualize it. So anyway, here we go. Uh, oh, as long as we're here. We never talked about the rumors. So... You can purchase drinks here, and actually, I believe they said drunkenness is a part of the game. However, every time you purchase a rumor, you will hear a tale, and the tale may be true, the tale may be a red herring, but either way, if you're not familiar with the game, it is there to give you hints about what's going on and where you should go. So, rumors. Okay, let's sell some stuff. So, we want to sell the dagger, the necklace. We want to sell this with this. We want to sell this and this. And I think that's it. So, let's just double check. Double check. Yep, sell. So, Cha-ching. Okay, get out of here. So, let's go talk to Firebeat, give him his scroll, and then you're going to watch all the uh, extravagant effects take uh, take their toll. So. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. It seems like a lot of people like to say that. So, okay, here we go. Boom. All right, he lit me up. So, uh, we lost, identify, we gained 50 experience points, our journal's been updated, the party gained Potion of Healing, he cast Protection from Evil, and we're good to go. So, let's get out of here. So now it's off to Release. the center grounds again. And we're going to meet a very annoying person who yeah I'm not going to tell you that part you'll find out later in the game yeah you got to stick with me find out what she's all about but she's annoying hey uh, it's me Emmowen oh yes I'm surprised stuff you'll go and legends away from the chores fiddle faddle yeah so she likes to call people names anyway She's a little bit on the immature side. She's a little bit younger than we are. And, uh, spoiler, there is a connection. So, anyway, I'm afraid I can't chat, little one. My father wishes to prepare me. Leave me be. No time to waste. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not supposed to tell anybody what's going on. And Winthrop wants the beds turned down. Well, I'm not going to give her any orders or directions. I'm not going to dismiss her like this because I'm just not a mean person 
So I'm afraid I can't chat, little one. And she's going to say, well, I'll, uh, I'm not that much younger than you are. Anyway, so, all right, I get the message. I'll ask if you can go with us. I already know the answer is no. Uh, there's no way you can come. Why? Once again, you know, that's kind of putting her down. Or you'd only slow me down, and that's just not a nice thing to say. So we'll be pleasant. And, oh, don't be silly. He would never let me go anyway. So you're right. Anyway, that was Emma one. Now, Mr. Gorion, this is our foster father. And he's going to... Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. Yep. This is unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It's very important. You pack your things. We got to leave immediately. And this is basically where the uh, the adventure begins outside of Candlekeep. And so I can tell him we're ready to go right now, or there's a bunch of other things that I need to do right here. But I've got everything that I need, so let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Okay, that was a healing spell. Don't worry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You are perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. Especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Okay, so. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Yep, she's back. Okay, uh, sorry I followed you. Never get out of candle keep. Those monks are such a bore. So she snuck out, and uh, it just so happened that she glanced at the uh, the note that Ryan had for us. Okay, how could I have known? Ryan didn't even tell me. I don't want you looking over my shoulder. You know, I no, I don't want to dismiss her like that. She made the uh, effort to get out here. The least I can do is, you know, welcome her. I accidentally read the letter the other day. I can't remember what exactly it said, but um, she knew this was coming. So uh, we're going to get that letter here in a minute. Anyway, that is going to be the end of episode one. And you can see that now we have Emmelyn in our party. And we 
cannot get back into Candlekeep until we reach the end of the game because of the draconian um, methods and stuff. You need um, a tome, a book of great value to donate to the library to get back in. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to pause it up right here. Please, um, if you haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit notification so you know when the new uh, videos are coming out. I will start putting videos out every day or every second day. So that gives uh, gives me something to do, gives you something to watch on a daily basis. And I do hope you'll come along with me on the, uh, the adventure. I will try to get new games in as well. I don't want it to be only Baldur's Gate, but right now this is the only thing that my little laptop can process and uh, one of these days when I get big sounds like Neil Young uh, when I get big I'm going to get an electric guitar no, when I get big I'll get a uh, laptop that can process the, uh, the better games so hit notifications subscribe, uh, leave a comment um, if you have any advice for me go ahead, comment below share, 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 share with your friends please uh, this is all family-friendly content, and uh, it's for the entire family to enjoy. So, without further ado, I am Grumpy Gnome. Thank you very much for coming along with me, and we'll see you in Episode 2. Take care. Bye-bye.